Yo, what's going on guys? This is JB Eli here. I'm back with another Dokkan video today. So, a lot of things are happening in global right now. Let me try to do, basically this video, I'm, I'm going to be explaining how to use the potential or the dupe system. That's what we're going to call it for now. Because I know it's potential, but I don't care. We're, we're calling it the dupe system like everyone else does. So, first of all, the basically the God Banner tickets, they finally accumulated the total. And they finally gave it to everyone. Like, I'm sorry, I can't show you guys where to collect it. I was already too hyped. I was like, yo, let's go, hell yeah. I got 70, so expect maybe five to seven videos on that later. And they got the Dragon Ball Fusions uh, summoning banner. You know? And I'm like, oh, pretty cool. But at the same time, like for me personally, I don't want the units. If you guys want them, like, you know, the Corolli's pretty good. Uh, the bras really good, and that's all I really know who's good, personally. And the GT Super Saiyan Gohan agility type, he's finally got an awakening, and the Oob strength type finally got an awakening too. Which a lot of people criticize on, but I think if you don't have anything, you know, it's a really good choice to awaken. And here you can get basically free SSRs, I guess. You can I, I don't know about Tekka. By no permit, you can grind, you can max out a super attack, so it's like uh, max. And then here for these units from, from the fusion banner, like in Japan, they didn't have this right away. But now you can go farm the medals. I see that's the GT Black Star medals you need, and that can get upgraded. This Pandel can get upgraded. You know, Paroli can get upgraded. And the do system, like I said, is out. And let me explain to you basically how, if you don't have it unlocked already how to get it so let's say you just started the game right let's say you're level 60 and you say oh I still can't use them all right here it says you gotta be level 50 and you gotta go into the event gate sorry man, I didn't get this you gotta go to the event gate and you gotta do the it's not this event that's always there, so it's the Super Saiyan Goku event. Here. So once you beat the first stage, don't worry about that. Go here. You gotta beat it on the hardest difficulty. Once you're level 50 and you beat the hardest difficulty, boom, the big deep system's unlocked for you. So now I'm gonna explain how to use the deep system. So here, just because it came out, all the, do, all the orbs are out, like the agility, the physical, the intelligence, all that's out right now, but usually they're out daily, so I think maybe Monday would usually be agility, and then it would go to strength, I forget what the order is exactly, but anyway, so, so for, like it says agility is for the certain type of unit, so let's say you have a Vegeta, right, so you go in here, you do the mission, grind out, Go to the spot, so I think I'll go more into that later because I'm just trying to do a quick summary of it so people can get the gist of it. So you go into here, you get the orbs you want to, you get all the orbs you can get, and you go to here where it says team, and you go to where it says guru, and it says hidden potential, and then you'll see this. Now I know it's a little overwhelming at first. But when you get used to it, you know, you get used to it. Like, I've already been working on Vegito. Like, where is he? Just click on him. Okay, now I'm going to explain basically each component the best I can. So let's get right into it. So, here's the combo attack. It grants a rare chance of an extra attack and maybe a super attack. So let's say Vegito's doing his combo and I raise a super attack. Like, let's say he does a super attack. I have a chance of him attacking again regular or doing a super attack, which is awesome. Here is, I think this is the critical hit. Yeah, so the critical hit is awesome because it does way tons more damage, especially when combined with the super attack. Like, you guys don't even know. Like, if you watch the other YouTubers' videos and you've seen all their, all their shit, then you'll see, like, how much DPS they do. Over here is dodge, which Gohan needs very bad when he's get back on top of Basically this is the dodge skill, and this is good for dodging regular attacks or super attacks, which I've seen like it pull clutches with people, so I want this pretty bad too. 
This is like the attack boost, but I think it's only towards units that are the opposite. So let's say like Vegito's agility, right? Let's say he's attacking like Omega Shinrons and he's the strength version. Like he'll do more DPS than usual. Damage, sorry. You know, if you guys don't know DPS is damage for me, same thing. This is the defend against the opposite. So let's say uh what would be oh attack will try to attack an agility, my Vegito. I would, my defense would be able to do even more than usual. So that would be very help out with units who have low defense and stuff against like OP units who have uh, red opposite type. This is just to raise the super attack power which is awesome because it's kind of like if you combine, if you already rose your unit super attack already, that's already pretty high. But if you use this, holy shit you're going to do hollow DPS. Here. The best way I can describe it is everyone can become like a mini Buhan in a way. Like not for real, but like I guess like if you don't have a Buhan, this is the next best option right here. So basically, you get the key spear that matches your character's type and you recover HP. Now that probably scales on what level your thing is, like how high it is, like level 1 is probably not good that much, but then you go keep raising level, level 2, level 3, or level 4, you probably get pretty high. And plus if all units have the skill, that's how good. So now let's get into how to use the deep system. So let's say, oh look, this path, I can't press on this, but I can press right here. It costs 5 agility small blue spears, so let's say we activate it, okay. As long as it can load up, like, pretty fast. Okay, so, we rose it up, or my Vegeta's defense rose a little bit. And as you can see, as I'm raising up his little stuff, his uh, the percentage of all the stuff activating goes up higher and higher. So the more I activate more stuff, the higher the chance all of his special effects can activate now. So this is the same thing, you know, use orbs, okay. Like now this one costs big, but I, so the thing is that, I think it's, yeah, so all the, the top right, top left, and top, uh, I mean bottom left, bottom, sorry. Only use, you know, normal orbs, okay. The bottom right, you need your character to have. See, my Vegito, he needs he doesn't have a super attack, so I can't do this. But let's say your character has super attack level 2. You can do this, plus, you need 10 small orbs and 5 medium sized orbs. So basically, yeah, you can power the unit like that. But to really power them up, you'll need dupes. That's why this is called the dupe system. So, right here, let's see, let's go. Oh shit, Vegito will get upgraded all this. I need this, 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 this. But I need to duplicate the character to put him in here. And that way I can lock this part of the path so then he can get stronger and stronger. And even more. So yeah, I'm using Vegito as an example. Of course you can do this with any units you have dupes with. Well, not any units. They have to be at least a UR. So if a unit that can become a UR and you have dupes for that UR, then there you go. And most likely the unit that you're using as a dupe has to also be a UR. I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. You guys can test that yourselves. Maybe I'll do an update on that. So yeah, I'm just using Vegito as an example. You can do that with any unit like they can do that with this tech Vegito. I mean Vegeta, I can do this with this, you know, this Gohan, I can do it with this Frieza, Omega Shinron, whatever. So just, you know, as an example. But let's say what you're saying, oh, what if my units are already a transcended UR? Like, would I have to go get medals for that unit and transcend my unit and transcend that Vegito so I can power up with my other Vegito? Now the answer for that is, yeah, you would. No, I'm kidding. No, you don't. So what? So here. Sorry about that. <coughs> so here, where it shows Vise, and it says reverse. You're gonna have to get these hourglass items, I think they're called. And you can get them at the shop, at Baba's shop. And so to get them, you need 30 incredible gems, like right now we have 19. But you can go grind out on the story mode and get 30 incredible gems, and that's how you get the incredible hourglass. So going back to the reverse system, if you have an hourglass, you go here, any of the units that you transcended, you can click on them, and you can reverse them. 
So I'm not going to do that now because that would be a waste because I don't need to do that. But you would reverse them to back to their back, the normal UR form. And then you would go back to the deep system. And use them for the pathways so that you can that you can uh, power up your unit even further. Now, you were saying is my unit stuck like that? No, right here it says reverse the Doken Awakening. So then you can just, right now you don't see anything. Let's say Vegito was his regular UR form. I can press on there. Boom, he's back to his normal normal transcending form. And I didn't have to use any metals. I didn't have to use any Zen or anything like that. So yeah, that's basically the whole uh, new freaking dupe system that came up for Global in Japan. I didn't really understand it, but now with all the, you know, since I can know what they're saying now, I understand what's going on. And So hopefully this helps you guys out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace.